Hello mm. and welcome to the start of a potential new series to the Falls on a Hill YouTube channel. I'm Cal, I'm joined by Yanni and Liam as always, and today we are going to cover an album that we couldn't be asked to cover when it first came out, but it's know. not a particular review. Not true. I don't uh, know if it's, it's not a particular we be asked. I think we just didn't realise at the time. Yeah. Precisely. Um, but it has come into our lives throughout the last year. So hard. So hard. So hard for Charlie XEX. Yeah. Aren't we all? <laughs> um, and to crash, be quite honest, crash. it's, yeah, the album is Crash. Um, and we are about to review it in hindsight. Yes. Because it slaps. It does. Spoiler alert. Slaps hind. Yes. Left, right, and center. If you've seen our album of the year uh, awards show, then you will know that this made its way onto it just about um and i'll link that nowhere because <laughs> i'm um, a little prick um, before we get into the review yanni mm. you brought this album to all our attention well i suppose not really even was the with people you. Was with you who i don't speak to i brought it to their attention too exactly yep. uh do you want to tell us the story oh, where were you? wouldn't you like to know i would well, where was I? Um, well, as I always say, whenever I mention this, um, me and Liam were at Primavera. And hmm. we just so happened to be making our way to the the um, the stage for Tame Impala and sort of pavement as yeah. well. We were trying to get a good middle ground. On the way there, um, who should be playing? Oh, well, it's our wonderful lady, Charlie XCX. And... I think the first song that I remember hearing upon approach was 1999, which isn't on this album. But what a way to... Stunk, st such a bop. Yeah, what a way to start it off. And then she played some album, uh, uh, some tracks off this album. And I thought, you know what? I'm actually loving every second of this. <laughs> Visually and audibly. Um, <laughs> it was a real show. It was a real show. And so... We came back from the festival. That's right. We're still not. We're not there. Still, we made it back. <laughs> Sadly. Sadly, yeah. And um, listened to the album, and it's changed my life. <laughs> I've, oh, I've listened to it probably every day since since that point. Um, not in full, but most of it every day. Uh, and if not, then one song of it at least, because it's just it's just so good. And I've I've raved about it to you two so much. Yeah. And eventually, you did listen to it right in the nick of time, like I said, for the album of the year rankings. Yep. And thankfully, it got put in, as it rightfully should have. It did. And if I had have listened earlier, it would have been remarkably higher. Mm. Well. <laughs> but, you know, this is what these archive reviews are for, mm. if that's the name we settle on. Running with that, aren't you? Really running with that. I really am, on. because it's so much better than whatever you said I'm what, what, think, what I'm not last, saying it was the best thing what was your last what was the last one he said a year later <laughs> just a archive year later. review what does that mean well it's an archive isn't it you know, everyone knows what an archive is we don't really talk about this the same thing as we talk yeah. about the album Crash by Charlie XX it we opens should. up we're going to go track by track if you listen to our podcast or watch the album spotlight or album review videos it's going to be a similar format to that because it's not old enough for us to do a classic so yeah uh, first song is Crash what a way to open it I mean, I love every song, basically. So it's going to be me just... <laughs> waxing lyrical. Waxing lyrical about it. But um, all the little vocal things that are going on, the the drums that sound like they're straight from the 80s with the, uh, the samples that have been used for the drum effects. Great. And yeah, I think it's great. I think it's a great way to open it. It's great. I love it so much. Yeah, I agree. Um this is this is turned into somewhat of a car journey album for me. Um, I feel myself not literally. It's a life journey album for me. That's the one. Yeah, it it, it just it, it's just like a pure karaoke album. Yeah, I belt it out from the depths, and this just gets you into it straight away. Straight away, big banger. Yeah, it's really good. Re really, um, That's kind it. of. Yeah, let me speak. Very hypnotic, very kind of um, sinks, it sinks its teeth into you, and that kind of um, it sounds like Miami by Falls. That little du, 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 yeah. that part, um, really, uh, really catchy, and the whole thing's very catchy. It's a great time. Yeah, I like very the uh, the end of it out of like the 
guitar solo into the whole glitchy effects and then tire screeching and a crash. <laughs> um, Damn. Moving on to the next song, New Shapes. <sighs> Bob. Fucking Bob. What do you want? They've they've got it with this song. <laughs> <laughs> they have got it. They've bloody got it. They have, I mean, yeah, Yanni, you, you are not wrong. Um, it's just great. I like Christine and the Queens, despite not really listening to that much. So it's a nice, nice feature. Um, I, I can't claim to be too familiar with Caroline Polacek. Um, Smash the name though. Um, all I know is so hot you're hitting my feelings. Which um, is a bop. Which is well, a bop. Char- is that the one? Charlie covered one not long ago, didn't you? Was it? I don't know what it was called, but with uh, George Daniel from uh, the 1975, who is her her beau, I believe. Um, Lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a it's a great tune, which I'm going to say probably ten more times. Yeah, yeah, that's probable. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a great song. The three vocalists together work wonderfully. Um, each of their parts is great, and it's just that kind of the stop and startness of that main hook mm. is really good. Mm. Like with the music coming in now. Uh, really well crafted yeah really Shoot. propels the track forward and yeah really does all of the vocalists featured have great parts that work really well for them and their styles which is fucking good um, speaking of good we've got a good one coming up <laughs> it's called <laughs> good ones it's called good ones that's what it's called um, the open to this the bass I love whatever production technique has been used on it it sounds like I, don't, I mean, it sounds like old school. It doesn't sound like a a, a MIDI keyboard being played. There's some kind of thing that they've done here, whether it is like an actual synth being played or something, I don't know, or whether it's just some kind of production technique, like I said. Who knows? Whatever it is, hats off to Mr. Production Man. Um, um, I be- Someone Halter. I uh, Oscar, Oscar Halter. Oscar Halter. Um, and the vocals are great. The pre-chorus, love how everything sort of gets a bit more ethereal. The bass stops, and then it comes in the end, stonking. It does. It does stonk. Um, it does stonk. Uh, I heard this one when it was released. We we covered it, didn't we? I believe. Possibly. I'm pretty sure we did. It was the only one we covered as a single, and I was a big fan of no, it. No, we did. We did beg for you, I think. Oh okay. Well, may, oh, okay. Well, I I I heard this before the Sorry. album was released. One hundred percent. Um, and yeah, it's it's a great tune. In hindsight, don't know what prompted me to not listen to the album because I really really did like this. this you're a song. silly boy. I'm a silly boy. Um, yeah, it's it slaps again. <laughs> yeah, it's really Fucking good. Chris Brown, the amount it slaps. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! Really Fantastic stuff that. there, Cal. Thank you. We don't we don't approve of that here. We don't approve of it. No, but and what we want to say is a real tangent here. <laughs> but stop, <laughs> stop loving Chris Brown. Correct. Christ, the amount of stories and posts I've seen of people going to his gigs and saying how much they've enjoyed it. Do you know what this person did? There's, Forever there's a, though is a fucking great tune. Yeah, it is. But so not, now, Cal. not now, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> still wouldn't pay to of course see it is anyway. but not now uh, I'd have to okay. that out um, next song right? <laughs> constant repeat Yanni I mean I just have it on constant repeat <laughs> um, <laughs> this guy I like this this bit more mellow this one um, until the I mean the drum even when the drums come in they're sort of laid back I sort of think in a way compared to good ones especially um but yeah, I just, again, I like this one. I'm sorry, I've got nothing better to say other than I just love basically all the tracks. Yep, as do I. Uh, it's another banger. Um, I really like the vocal delivery of Lifetime. I thought that yeah. would uh, really throw me off, but it doesn't every time I enjoy it. Hmm. Yeah, great song. I don't have anything to add either. It seems like a pointless thing to to do this video, to be honest. Because we're all just going to say we like it. Uh, next up, we've got Beg For You, which is a song that we covered, apparently. Can't remember it, but we did. I think so. Um, 
This is one that was performed when we were at Primavera because uh, Rina was also there um, doing her own performance as a solo artist. <laughs> so that she joined her <laughs> there um, for this for this performance. And um, it's good. I mean, I feel like at the time, I probably was annoyed at the fact that it's just a rip-off of Cry For You. But I've outgrown that. If that was a thought that I had, um, it's just... It's a pop and it works. It's been translated well to a modern day slap. Yep, I agree. But I do tend to skip it. Oh, hello. Because it's a car album and I said to Yanni before, my journey to work is just ever so slightly shorter than this album and I prefer other songs. So this one normally gets cut to make way for later songs. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? No, it's, it's a shame, mate. Charlie. It's a Charlie X, yeah, it's mate. It's a shame. Um, yeah, I think this is a bop. I agree with what you're saying, Yanni, about this being a very good kind of uh, reinterpretation of the of Cry For You. A bop, as we all know. Yeah. Um, of its time. And this is a uh, great version of it. I'm reading the sounds great, isn't it? Indeed. Indeed. Next up, we have Move Me. Great. There's a... A production by like, breakdown of this one online, which made me like the song even more. There's a lot more going on it than you realise when you just listen to it. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Love the chorus and the lockdown by my side, especially when yep. it comes in the second time and it's like cut, so it's very um, staggered. Just a great, great thing to do. Um, this is one of my highlights on the whole album, I'm honest. Yanni, this is my highlight. Oh, wow. If You're I my could... highlight. Do you oh. know that? Oh, that's lovely. Uh, oh, this song is my highlight. Well. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, <laughs> it, yeah. Um, if I could just listen to one song from 2022, it would probably be this. Oh, I know. Good, just, good job no, no one's making you do that in a car. It, it is, yeah. <laughs> it'd be. But I would still have a great time. The, the first time I heard it, I was. that's when I was like... Yeah, this this album is going to be on constant repeat. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, <Yuck>. this is <laughs> baby. Um, I just love it, Yanni and Liam. I just love it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think it's also my favorite yeah. song of this album as well. Yeah. Funny enough, um, again, I lo- I love the chorus and the second time or well, the last time when it comes in, Yanni, you were saying it just it hits so well. It's done so well done. I'm interested to watch that video you mentioned because I've not seen it. Oh, I too will be doing that straight after we finish. Great, yeah, great tune. Um, next up, we've got Baby. Um, this Baby. was definitely a single that we covered. I know that because I remember watching it. It was. I remember watching the video. It, it was definitely wasn't. We covered this song. Dirty pervert. No, we watched the video. I'm sure we did, unless we covered a different song and I happened to stumble across the video at the same time. Mm. We we didn't we didn't do this. I'm telling you. We definitely, we oh, talked about it. We definitely talked about this song. I know we did. I'm telling you, we, we didn't. didn't. Okay, we didn't. well, you can look like a dickhead when we find out we did. Moving on. Charlie XCX with the Flying song. Flying through it. Yes. We're always steaming through these, lads. <laughs> with the song, Baby. This song depends on what I'm feeling, really. Um, it can be a little bit annoying, but most of the time, it's just very enjoyable. It makes you want to groove around. It's two and a half minutes, mate. If you can't get down to this for two and a half <laughs> minutes and you're living a sheltered life. Um, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I like the uh, how quick it comes out uh, after Move Me, which is a bit more of a slower, harder hitter one, whereas this is just like pure unadulterated fun sorry for, I'm just looking at Liam minutes. doing his research and I feel like you know I did the computer thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't well. cover it Yanni, we so did talk about it I know we, we talked didn't. about it you are so we wrong we talked about it we did, we did. I'm going to find it I'm going to send it to you do it I will find it bitch moving on Charlie XCX with the flying song flying through it yes we're always steaming <laughs> through these lads <laughs> with the song baby great bop to this one great vibe I don't know if it's my turn I'm speaking anyway it is Great, like, 90s Cali vibe to the music. Um, get Snoop on it. Good time. Uh, and the little um, kind of uh, Britney Spears sound and little... Yeah. Sounds, uh, sounds good as well. 
I didn't does. put two and two together there, but it does sound a bit like... Well, you should, shouldn't Britney, you? Britney, bitch. Uh, next up, we've got Lightning. This is one that didn't immediately... Um, uh, what's the word? I don't like... Know. Click. Click with me. Click with me. But something happened. And I'm, I mean, I'm obviously talking months ago because I've been listening to this album on constant repeat. Um, but yeah, I, I fucking love this song. This might be one of the favourites of it. I love the, the whole build up to it. And then when it cuts to Heartbreak, already hit me once. Yep. And the, that robotic voice comes in. And then poof, you shut me down like lightning. Comes in. It just, it's just fucking great. Massive chorus. I like it so much. Even the glitchy ending, well, not ending, but like middle eight bridge bit, which really wound me up at first. I've grown to love. It's, it, again, as Liam said, this is a pointless review because we love it all. Well. That is not going to change. Well, uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, I agree with all the points all said above. I also love the little uh, like Spanish guitar that comes in. Yeah. Points. You only know I'm a big fan of Spanish guitar, it's, flamenco it's style. Um yeah, lightning to is a bop. It's bop of the century. Fucking bop. Um next up we have every rule. This one is very hit and miss for me. Really, really depends. Um if I'm just going to listen to the album as a whole, I will leave it on. Uh, as opposed to one that we're gonna talk about very shortly, which I always skip. Um but yeah, it's not as fun as the other songs, I think is the only problem. This album's very fun, and it's it's not like me to have fun. <laughs> so, um, but no, yeah, it's just, hmm, I don't know. I struggle to like this one sometimes, but yeah, I don't think it's necessarily bad. I really like this one, to be fair. Um, it's, it's sung from a different perspective of a song. Yes. Um of of the cheetah and it uh, mm. makes you sympathise, which is a very strange position to be in. I don't think I, I would, but uh, yeah. well, no, but that's what it's trying to it's what it's trying to do. It's trying to like justify their actions because they did it for love, mm. which uh, you know still don't be a cunt. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I like the song. Um, I also like this song. I think this is a great one. I like. I think it's a great moment on the album for the slower one. Um, and I think it's done really well to still fit within. You know, still very coherent with the rest of the album um, but a bit of a slower jam slower jam uh, next up we've got Yuck and this is the one that I more or less always skip what? it's it, I just, it's a fun time I don't know if it's because it reminds me too much of something like a, a Doja Cat song um, like musically but yeah it sounds I, like a Katy Perry song uh, all that yeah yeah um, as we know, they really. are one in the same. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just this this one's never really stood out to me at all. I try and find a way in whenever I listen to it, but I just can't. The lovey dovey bit, maybe. I kind of like the way that's all sung yeah. and the melody of it, but the rest of it, yeah, I just don't know. That is a gripe I have. It the song should be called Lovey Dovey. Just, just it's better than the word yuck. Um, I, 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 like, I like the track. It's not changing the world, is it? But it's just a fun not, two minutes. No. It's two just, not. it's two minutes and 18 seconds. You can Thank get you. through it, Yanni. Just spice up your life. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a fun time. Real good. Um, real good party tune. Yeah, it reminds me of like some old school, I say old school, it's not really that old, but some uh, old Kate, Katy Perry tunes, some when pop music was full of bops. Um and it feels like a good time, you know? Well, speaking of good times, next track, Used to Know Me. What a pleasurable experience this is. Anytime this is on, it's just a naughty little dance bop to get down to. It's not really for me. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah, it's also my least favourite song. Really? But it's yeah, so, 100%. What the so 100%. far down the pecking order <laughs> yeah, seriously okay. absolutely the reports of of charlie's vocal melodies are great really good 
I think the interpolation sure. from the original song, mm. if that's the right word, rather than sampling. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you. Is well, you're welcome, uninspired. Sir. I'm just not. I just don't need it. It's not done in the same way as "Beg for You." I don't feel like it's nowhere near as intelligently done as that. Um, and yeah, I just don't. It just doesn't do anything for me. I feel like this is one of the ones I remember being performed at Prima and really liking it. So maybe that's probably why I've got more of an affinity towards it. But yeah, I'm very shocked you two don't yeah. like this one. Um, well, I won't think twice about it. Um, speaking of that, uh, Twice, which is the final song off this album. Um, beautiful track. I love this one. Pretty mm. Nice little end there. And it's... It's just yeah, nice. I think is the is the right word for it. Uh, yeah, it's very repetitive, but I don't find it annoyingly repetitive. It's mm. just a nice melody to sort of have repeating. Yeah. I, I agree. As I said before, my car journeys tend to be shorter than this album, so this one is a semi new one to me, um, and mm. I haven't heard it anywhere near as much as I've heard the rest of the album. Um, so it is a nice little pleasant surprise for me whenever it comes on. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's a good track. Not one of my favourites, but it's a nice time. Yeah, definitely a very pleasant one. And I really like the the shift at the very end. Yeah. I feel like that really kind of... It seems a bit out of nowhere, but then it finishes the album really well. Um, I think it's a, a solid closer. Very yeah, solid. solid. Um, Close it up, Charlie. Close it up. If we were... And I'm not going to include the animations for this because it doesn't count. But if we were to rate this album... Now, it should count. It should count. What What would you say that you would rate it? I'd rate it a nine. Um, poof. I'd probably give it an eight. Mm. Yeah, solid eight. Mm. Yanni? Um, well, judging by some of the comments on a particular track, you'd probably think, well, there's no way you can give it a ten. You can't give it a ten. And I'm going to. You can't give it a ten. <laughs> I am. It's Ill- illegal. Okay, you can't do it. Okay. What are, what are the other tens we've had in our past that this um, up to? Probably one that I made up. I don't live here anymore by uh, yeah. War on Drugs and Angel of Real Yves. Angel of Real Time. I think they're the only ones. We gave me and you gave guitar music ten, I believe, Liam. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, and I was, gave everything. Everything. Yes, you did. <laughs> I don't feel wow. Um, wow. But yeah, this rating does not matter at all. But yeah, uh, fantastic. Uh, I think it. It's good the fact that it's only thirty-four minutes. Hundred percent. I couldn't. I couldn't is, be asked with any more. Is yeah, definitely. definitely not. Uh, but each track is straight to the point. The length it needs Sheep. to be, and doesn't overstay its welcome at all. Different ways of saying the same thing here. And <laughs> um, I really hope Perfect that. <laughs> uh, thank you. I really hope that the next album, she releases, is at a similar level. Because well, I've gone back and listened to old Charlie, but I'm going to save that until the question that I'm about to be asked comes up. Well, I wasn't going to. Uh, I was just going to say that uh, <laughs> okay. the, okay. the, the the oracle of all music reviewers, Mister Mister Melonhead, did not like this album in comparison to whatever the one before this was called. Yeah. Um, and I went back and listened to it. I really enjoyed the first album on the record. Again, I can't remember what it's called, but I just Track. wasn't really wasn't really that arse in comparison the to this. The album was How I'm Feeling Now. That song what? was called Pink Diamond, the first one. Yeah. I thought yeah. that was fun, but I just wasn't really that bothered. Mm. So, that brings <laughs> me to the question. How does this compare to their other works? I think this is the best complete body of work that she's made. She's I released. mean, speaking of someone who's only listened to the one complete body of work by Charlie XCX, I completely agree. Mm. Wow, this I'm just flicking through that last album before Crash. It's pretty out there. Yeah, it? it's very different. <laughs> <laughs> Which is wild considering before listening to Crash and how people are talking about it, I kind of expected Crash to be a bit more like that. Right. Um, and it's interesting to see that she's actually went kind of a bit more accessible, a bit more poppy on the new one. Um, yeah, it sounds pretty pretty gnarly. <laughs> um, I don't know much more about Charlie XCX apart from Boom clap um is a tune yeah 1999 is a tune yeah boys um boys boys is a tune what else is she out vroom vroom oh Oh, yeah the best worst song in the world yeah (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so many tunes. Bitches um, know they can't catch me. <laughs> Charlotte's in room. So many, so many good tunes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'd, I'd actually go back as well to listen to the older albums. And just, it doesn't grab you the way that this one does, um, unfortunately. I think this one is just unapologetically fun. Yeah. Not taken too seriously, yeah. but still done in a very... Um, what is the word I'm looking for? That would have been a really nice point. You sure. Um, succinct. No, succinct, but like, um, oh, what's the fucking word? Self-assured way, you know. It's like it knows what it's Confident. doing. Confident. Kind of, yeah, but that's not the word. Arrogant. Was, no, definitely not arrogant. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Cocksure. Um, Precisely. Very cocksure. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> Charlie X E X is. Crash is unapologetically cocksure. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, good job, guys. And that's a good way to end it, really. Yeah. The only way we know how. Mm. With cock. Thank you, sure. everyone, for listening. Go below for everything else. Now go and listen to the album. Yeah. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs>